Climb by Industries, Tape 1, Scene 1, Take 1. So if you could please state your name and give us a little brief history on who you are and what you do. Um, I am Father Greg Boyle. I'm the Executive Director and Founder of Homeboy Industries. It's the largest gang intervention program in the country. About 12,000 folks a year walk through our doors hoping to um, leave behind gang life and they get free tattoo removal or we locate gainful employment for them in the private sector or hire them here in one of our five businesses. Um, so why did you, you feel the need to start Homeboy Industries? Well, Homeboy Industries was begun in 1988 when I was, during the time I was pastor of Dolores Mission, which was at the time the poorest parish in the city in the middle of two huge public housing projects. Pico Gardens and Elisa Village, and uh, we had eight gangs there, and half of those gangs at war with the other half, and so, uh, <clears throat> and so I buried my first kid in 1988, and so we started, and then lots of kids after that, so I buried 168 kids already. So uh, we did a lot of things. We started a school first, and then we started a, a kind of a jobs program, and then we started the businesses. So what do you think is the cause of today's youth joining gangs? I think it's about a lethal absence of hope. I think it's about young people being unable to imagine a future for themselves. And, and gangs are the places kids go when they've encountered their life as uh, a misery, and misery loves company. So, um, a lot of times we've grown to believe that it's, it's about attraction and lure, and that kids are drawn into a gang or pulled, but they're really pushed. And no kid is seeking anything when he joins a gang, he's always fleeing something. So, so the, the answer, if it's about despair, then the answer is really uh, hope. So you want to infuse a sense of hope to young people for whom hope is foreign. So is, is there any anything you'd like to say to the public you know, about these issues? Yeah, I mean, uh, it costs a lot of money, about $10 million to keep this program going. Now we bring in about three and a half from our businesses. So we need to raise about $6 million to keep ourselves afloat. And um, that's a challenge. You know? and so. It's a costly thing, and, and uh, but if one thinks this is uh, expensive to run this place, uh, why do we get the bill for for its closure? And, and, and you don't want that because this place relieves a lot of uh, steam from the gang uh, situation, not just for the gang members we serve here, but also uh, as it uh, stands as a sign of hope to all the gang members who don't want to do our doors here. Pretty unique and vital place. Homeboy Industries, oh. tape one, scene two, take one. If you could just state your name and how old are you and stuff? Gray, uh, 25. Um, so, so what gang were you in? Uh, my power group. And, and where is that based? Compton. Most Pants and Bullets. Compton, call it Bonfield, 7B. You, are you out of the gang now? Or are you? Yeah, I'm out of the gang right now. Why did you do it? Why did you join? 
Why not join? I mean, more, more or less, it was my environment. That's all I seen. It was people gang banging, so that's all I really knew. And what made you come to Homeboy Industries? Uh, man, you know, Father Greg, I've been, I've been talking to him for a while, and he said if I come down there, he told me to come down when I'm ready to change my life and start doing right. So that's why I came down there. So how long have you been with Homeboy Industries? Uh, for two months now. I've been working for two months. And you would recommend this? Yes, <laughs> I, I would recommend it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, better, it's better than, you know, standing on the corner and selling dope. You gotta have to worry about people coming to shoot natural and you gotta worry about the police, so. Thank you. Thank you.